In this video, I'm going to show you what the commands are that you definitely need to know in stream avatars. So start up stream avatars and go to bot commands. Make sure that you have set up stream avatars. If you have not done the initial setup yet, I definitely recommend watching this video where I explain how to do that. Okay, so the first command is the command list, the command you always need to find all the commands. You see command word here, you can always change these with every of the commands to something you want. So you can make a command or, I don't know, blueberries if you want to, but that will be hard to remember, I would say. You can enable and disable it right here. Now it's enable. Enable the output as well, so it talks back. Otherwise, you still don't know which commands there are. Then you can set the command for everybody, people that follow or are subscribers, people that are subscribers, just moderators or you as the streamer itself. This is a global cooldown. How often can this command be used in chat? User cooldown. How often can this user use this in chat? Then we have whisper input. This is if you want to trigger the command, you have to DM whisper the bot. Whisper output. The bot will whisper you back. So if you do any of these, that will happen. And you can change the output here. Make sure that you never change these pieces of code because that's kind of like the point of the command. You can make something else from this, whatever you want. I don't think you want something else, but our loft commands and then you see the commands, for example, like that. Another important one is the help command, obviously. If you don't know how the stream avatars works, you need to be able to type exclamation mark help here. So make sure that that one is on. To select which avatar you want to be, we've got that here. It's just exclamation mark, always the command word, exclamation mark in front of it. So exclamation mark avatars, and you can see the choice of the avatar and then the list is in. So this command with the avatar where it's like X makes mark avatar space and then the name of the character. And then you get that avatar. You can change these outputs. Again, for every of the commands, you can change these output. Make sure to not change the code. Same with the gear here. It's just X makes mark gear space, the name of the gear. And these are the commands. This kind of works the same in every command. With the name tag as well, exclamation mark name tag space, the name of the name tag, for example, mods. Color selection. This is if you do recolors. I'm talking a little bit about how the recolors work in this video. Then actions here. We got left, right, move, jump, sit, stand, attack, dance, fart, and hug. So if you do exclamation mark, hug, exclamation mark, fart, exclamation mark, dance, the character is going to do those things. Attack, dance, fart, left, right. It doesn't do it in mini games, but it does do it just when they're walking around. And then we see here, we can change this to exclamation mark something else. So if you do exclamation mark actions now, it will give the list with the inputs here. Again, we can change these outputs if you want and put it in whispers if you want to. Currency is also important. You can do exclamation mark all, add, remove, give. So you can remove and give currency to people. The shop command, that is for the shop right here, for shop editor. This is how people can buy their items. If they do exclamation mark buy and then choose the item they want to buy, they can get that via the command here. And we see the, all the outputs here again. So your mass command is also an important one to know. If the streamer does exclamation mark mass, and then if you go back to the actions, one of these actions, for example, dance, Everybody, every one of the avatars will dance. So make sure that the mass action is bot moderator or a caster. Otherwise, everybody can let everybody dance all the time. <laughs> then we have some mini games here. Blacklist commands. So we can blacklist people or whitelist them. You can also just do that here in a user editor if you want to. You can also spawn a game in here. You can also make somebody a bot moderator. Again, we can do that in the user settings as well. We can see the leaderboard. All these settings kind of work the same. You, you see the same things coming back, right? This is if you want to slingshot with an avatar. <laughs> we got a background selection. I would not really mess with these because if you click on connect, you can select your background inside the program. If you want your moderators to be able to change it, you can use this command. This is the extension link for people to download the stream avatars extension. Then again, we got some mini games here. Hiding avatars for people that you want to be hiding the avatar of. Boss battle is a mini game again. We can add sounds as well. You can let sounds play if you want to. In the sound tab here, you can set those up and you can do exclamation mark sound and then the name of the sound you gave to trigger them. But that all works with the sounds here. You can also make a cue here if people want to play with you, for example. And you can shout out an avatar. I do have another video on how to make a shout out command on stream avatars and this is what you need for it, but I'll leave it up here for you. Roll again mini game, eight ball mini game, pin avatar. You can literally pin them on a wall. Let me show you. So we got an avatar here. If you go up here, we see the spin icon and I can pin him. Whoop, there. <laughs> we can pin an avatar like that. Whoop. That's spinning the avatars. <laughs> Explode. That's with bombs. You can drop bombs on people. You can also have the avatar be scaled bigger or smaller if you want to. Freeze them. 
so they don't move. And you can activate the screensaver here as well. So these are the bullet commands, the most important bullet commands you need to know about. If they're super specific, I usually go over them in different videos as well, talking a bit like about the shop, for example, how to set up the shop one, but also the ones that change avatars and stuff like that. I go over that in those videos. So I definitely recommend jumping in this playlist because then you get a full picture of how the whole program works. Because you, know, you just have a really, really short part of it. And this is, this playlist is going to explain everything from stream avatars. So I love to see you there.